Hey guys, and welcome to the 7th episode of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Guide. And in today's episode, I will be sharing my thoughts about the card Artifact Beagle Attach, which will be coming out in Primal Origins. So with that said, let's get started. So Artifact Beagle Attach is a light fairy effect type monster. Level 5, attack is 1400, and defense is 2100. Its effect reads... You can set this card from your hand to your spell and trap card zone as a spell card. When this set card in your spell and trap card zone is destroyed and sent to the graveyard during your opponent's turn, special summon this card. If this card is special summoned during your opponent's turn, destroy up to two set cards you control. You can only use this effect of artifact beagle attach once per turn. So here's what I like about this card. Just like all the other artifact monsters, I like how during your opponent's turn, if they get destroyed, you profit from that destruction by gaining, gaining a monster, and also when they're destroyed during your opponent's turn and special summon during the opponent's turn, they have an additional effect. Now, the other thing I like about this card is that in its effect, it says up to, meaning you are not forced to destroy two set cards because just like Icarus attack you cannot activate Icarus attack if there aren't enough targets on the field and just like uh, Tiramisu up two so you have a choice and any card that gives you a choice of up two is a very good card not saying Icarus attack is not a good card it's just I like having the option of choosing one target if there just so happens to be one target uh, what I dislike about this card, this card is pretty cool. It, you know, it would be better if it can destroy your opponent's set card, but then that would be probably nutty during the mirror match, I guess. But, ah, it's okay. It benefits the artifact archetype and deck by, you know, blow this up, blow this up, effects activates, keep doing stuff. So, this card is pretty cool. If I was playing an artifact deck, I would run two copies of this card, mainly because, one, you can only use this effect once per turn. Like Grandmaster, you can only control one Grandmaster. So, with you only being able to use one of its effects, it's like, well, since I only can use one, what's the point of running three? Three might clog. It helps get your plays off by, you know, double MSTing your own stuff. But it's just a matter of one is not enough, three seems cloggy, two seems perfect. Uh, so with that said, thank you guys for watching. And if you like what you've seen, comment, rate, and subscribe. And peace.